What are the tar pits? They're a group of pits containing natural asphalt that has been seeping up from the ground for thousands of years. The name, tar pits, is a bit misleading since these pits actually contain asphalt. The La Brea tar pits were originally dug up as asphalt mines, but it turns out that the asphalt pits are a treasure trove of fossil history. Because the asphalt is sticky, many animals became trapped in the pits and as time has shown, asphalt is great at preserving bones. Scientists have excavated more than a million bones from these pits, with the most common animals being dire wolves and saber-toothed cats. The pits formed after dinosaurs had gone extinct, so you won't find any dinosaurs here, but the tar pits have turned up fossils that date back 10,000 to 50,000 years. These pits have fascinated scientists and visitors for over a century. Today, this area is the only actively excavated Ice Age fossil site found in any urban location in the world. Over the last 50,000 years many animals some now extinct, as well as plants and insects became trapped in sticky asphalt, encapsulating them and preserving them for the test of time. More than 100 excavations have been made at the tar pits since the early 1900s, and most of the fossils discovered here are housed in the museum at La Brea Tar Pits. The discoveries range in size from huge, extinct mammoths and sloths to microfossils, or tiny remains of plants and animals that give us clues about how ancient ecosystems and climates change. People have known about the tar pits for centuries. The Chumash and Tongva people utilized the natural asphalt oozing out of the ground to seal their boats and baskets, and European colonizers would later use the tar on the roofs of their homes. Naturally, it was hard to ignore the chocolate brown bones found amongst the tar, but these were often interpreted as the remains of pronghorn or cattle, while others assumed various other wild animals had become stuck and perished. It wasn't until 1901 that naturalists began to realize that many of the bones in the tar belonged to species that vanished long ago. When paleontologists started to dig in, they uncovered the richest fossil treasure trove on the entire planet. The early scientific excavations of La Brea turned up a startling number of Ice Age organisms. There were mammoths and mastodons, saber-toothed cats and dire wolves, giant sloths and enormous camels, all with their tar-stained bones jumbled together. At the time paleontologists wanted the biggest and strangest creatures they could find. Little care was given to preserving less than perfect bones. Experts dug wantonly with picks and shovels in spots of poor bone quality as they searched for better fossils. The paleontologists of the time were thinking about specimens for a museum and charismatic animals to study. This meant that they often didn't take precise notes or collect anything smaller than a coyote from the pits. The iconic lake pit, located in front of the museum, is actually a pit left over from asphalt mining operations in the late 1800s. The rain and groundwater has collected above the bubbling asphalt, creating a small lake, also showing example of how an unknowing animal could wander in for a drink and become stuck in the hidden sticky asphalt. The lake's bubbles and distinctive odor come from a deep underground oil field. Here in front of the museum you get to see the recreation of a mammoth becoming trapped in tar. Over 100 fossil quarries commonly called pits have been excavated since the turn of the 20th century. The term pit was applied to excavations made by the Los Angeles County Museum between July 1913 and September 1915. More than 50 of these excavations were completely unproductive and only about a dozen yielded prolific fossil remains. Five fenced areas scattered throughout Hancock Park include the Lake Pit which is a remnant of commercial asphalt mining project. It also contains Pit 17, Pit 50, and the Academy Pit. Pit 3, 4, 9, 10, 13, 61, 67, and 91. La Brea is not a single pit, but many, each with its own name. In 1969, not long before the George C. Page Museum was opened, La Brea paleontologists started a new project in Pit 91. We started taking precise measurements on all the fossils excavated, building a database of how the fossils were situated within the pits. Experts began to appreciate the wealth of fossil material at the small scale. From lizard jaws to snail shells. Uncovering these fossils required a more delicate approach. We started using dental picks instead of trowels and shovels. Every effort is now made to find all the fossils. Not just the likes of Smilodon and Megatherium. If paleontologists were to understand the whole story of La Brea, they would have to think smaller. There are certainly more discoveries to come. 
not only through analysis but through excavations of the tar-soaked sediment. In 2006 the neighboring Los Angeles County Museum of Art started to build a new parking garage. They quickly hit an impressive pocket of fossils. It would take decades to excavate everything in place. The construction project could not wait so paleontologists packaged up massive chunks in wooden tree boxes to move behind La Brea and continue uncovering fossils at a more comfortable pace. Dubbed Project 23, the endeavor is still continuing 16 years later. Every dire wolf jaw, every songbird bone, every snail shell that's freed from the sticky layers of La Brea is another part of the story. An ice age epic that we are only just now beginning to envision.